Hi guys, welcome back to North Sea Angling. Today we're heading down to Morton on the Nose. I was planning on getting you a video uh, from, we went on a trip up to Kessingland. However, the only content I got from the um, whole trip was this short little clip. Oh, yeah, 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 bye, 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 bye. I don't think he's going to be in size, but he's a nice bass nonetheless. Nice. I'm happy now. So, without further ado, I'm going to pick up some ragworm from a guy called, who's kind of runs an online thing called John's uh, King Ragworm based out of Ipswich. Um, then we're gonna, yeah, and then head on down to Walton on the Nose Pier and let's see how we get on. Apparently we're fishing. Well, it's about half twelve at the moment. So I think low tide's around two o'clock mark. We have some big old bits of ragworm. Um, I might try and find some smaller bits, uh, particularly around the low tide mark as the tide starts to turn. So apparently there's been some sole being caught and they're really easy to catch as the tide's kind of quite flat. Another thing I'm gonna try and do is drop one quite near the structure just over the side because um, apparently there's some rash showing and that'd be pretty cool and then apart from that I'm probably just going to put on some pulley panels and launch some squid or big cocktails of rag out and see how we get on right, I've just set that one up put it in basically right underneath uh, well as you can see it's going straight down right close to the uh, structure hoping for one of these much infamous rats that I keep hearing about. Right, so far, really quiet. Not a nibble. One of those things, quite often it takes a little while and then suddenly the bite will come on. Here's to hoping anyway. I just missed it. Yeah, I had a good knock, I think. Yeah. Maybe I should have left it a bit longer. Damn it, that was bloody annoying. Had an initial really nice bite. And I was running around looking for the GoPro, trying to get it set up. And I waited to see if it had given up a little rattle. It gave a much smaller rattle, so I reeled in, but missed it. I reckon if I'd hit it as soon as that first knock had gone, I would have had a fish on. But I wanted to get the uh, reel in on GoPro. Maybe I shouldn't. Looking back, I've actually just caught the fish and then shown you, but there as well. So, from literally having no bites, at least there certainly seems to be a few fish showing now. Well, showing some activity at least. Fascinating. 
Yeah, they said it's location, so it can be good. We're in. I think the camera might have been pointed the wrong way, but there we are. First fish of the day. Scooty bass. <laughs> Not exactly massive, but it's a start. And we're up and running. Doing something a little different. Nice bit of squid on a pulley panel with the Gemini clip down. Some of these rag baits get stripped, so. So, what? Gentlemen, that just up there, he's fishing. He basically said, as the tide's going out, it's better to fish at that side. As the tide's going out, it's better to fish this side. Because the way the kind of current runs, um, as it's well, when it's going out, it runs this way. As it's going in, it runs that way. So a lot of the kind of, uh, kind of sediment kind of gets churned up underneath the uh, pier here, including like all the kind of well, there'll be all the kind of stations, all the kind of little bits of marine life kind of get more pushed out that way. And the fish will wait this side of the pier to try and feed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in nearest one at least. Probably the two of uh, two of them at least. Um, with the wind going that way, away from there, what I might leave is the squids uh, with uh, on the blue pedal on that side, so I can cast up further, uh, go for rays. But two of the worms on, what they'll probably be, what a lot of the fish will be looking for, such as the bass, the sole, everything like that, they'll be hunting, and I might cast out onto that side. So I really am. See what I can do. So sorry, just walking down because I was going to go put some stuff in the rubbish bin, and I walked walk past this uh, walk past this lovely gentleman, asked how he was getting on, and he just caught a lovely ray. Um, I can see that too very well. Yeah, there we go. Nice one. He's only started fishing last week, so fair play. <laughs> Get on you. Right. Yeah, obviously, when I was going to put a load of gaps in the trash down there, I went to go speak to the other anglers, see how they're getting on. Uh, the gentleman who's on his first kind of like week's fishing, that he went to Clacton earlier in the week, caught a seven and a half pound bass in his first cast, he just caught a ray. Um, the boat next to him also just caught a bass. So I'm kind of hoping that means the bite's coming on. Annoyingly, I think I've pushed it probably about an hour and a tiny little bit before it'll be me taking the piss for when I get home. And uh, Apologies for having to constantly do it from this angle with me leaning down. I'm just trying to keep the GoPro out of the wind so you don't have horrible wind noise in the video. But yeah, hopefully we'll get a couple of fish before we go. A ray would be lovely. A soul, a rat, anything. If not, at least I've caught something that saves a blank. But yeah, we'll have a little look. There's more fishermen now coming as the tide's kind of looking a bit better. That one just had a knock as well. Oh, that one's gone again. Out 
of nowhere the bike suddenly just gone mad. Right, so something fairly interesting just happened. I got a massive tangle when I was reading that one in. And I could feel something tugging. There was nothing on. The line I was tangled up for, uh, with was this one. So I'm so curious. Although I haven't seen a bite, if there might be something on and after it's tangled, that's why I haven't felt the bite. Let's have a look. So yeah, I thought I had one. Uh, okay. <laughs> there we go, a nice little one. <laughs> Mold Damon's over there, bless him. He just ended up basically saying, oh, very nice. You give me the fish, I give you to my kid. <laughs> yeah, of course you can. Of course you can. It's your turn, yeah? Sorry? Is this first or second? Second. Oh. There's lots, I'm getting bites after bites after bites. Too small to keep, but. <laughs> nice one. There we go. Ah, oh, we'll send him back to the depths. Too. I think there's a lot more to be had. I've got to say as well, this bait is fantastic. Like the amount that's in there and the size of the worms, how active they are, it's brilliant. So if you're looking for some decent bait, I've got so much, I've got so much left over. I just gave them uh, like half a pound of rag. Oh god, yeah, bye, 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 bye. Is he on? Better fish this. Hang on. 
Yeah, I'll be alright. Yeah? Yeah. So guys, there's obviously like some old kind of line there, which okay. is <laughs> got caught up and the fish swam into it. So my hook, my finger then got caught in the hook, as you can see. Lovely gentleman obviously just ran over to try and help and that was quite hard to get out, but there we go, another bass. Bite's definitely on now. We'll get him back anyway. Is when she watched this back, I know you're squeamish of blood, so now look away. But for everyone else, this is, a, this is what's happened after that, it's not good. Oh, did a proper number on me that one. Someone else's line that's attached to something heavy is just uh, it swam me into that, and it's because of the tension, it just. Yeah, it just pulled it right into my finger. <laughs> it probably wasn't the smartest idea to put it in, but I wanted to make sure I managed to get the fish off nice and safe anyway, but that's the consequence. Another decent knock on here. Yeah, I think it's still on. Ragworm works the treat, doesn't it? Not leave back, give us. <laughs> no, that's way too small. Yeah? Yeah, no, it's got to be 42 centimetres to keep, mate. Far too small. If I catch one in size, I'll give it to you. Why? Yeah, I'm guessing the uh, lovely old ovals, they're very sweet, but I don't think they quite understand the uh, legal size kind of thing. still definitely on. I'm catching bass after bass after bass. But um, this hasn't stopped bleeding. One of those lovely uh, Eastern Europeans has tried to kind of tie some bright, a braided line around as a tourniquet, but it's still bleeding. Um, so I think I'm going to have one last cast, dip it in so I can disinfect it when I get home. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to stay too long with that. and gents are now going to reel in. Bleeding's finally stopped and it started to uh, clock. That's been over half an hour that it was bleeding. So I want to get home, get it disinfected. Um, now I'm going to reel in, head home. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed watching once again, remember to hit like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps us out. And until next time, all the best from North Sea England. <laughs>